Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as 2015 is now starting, I felt like I needed to kind of like revamp my beauty stash. So I have a beauty haul for you guys. This will include just a couple of high-end items, but the majority of these are drugstore. So I hope you guys enjoy. So today I have three foundations that I want to show you guys. Two of them are drugstore and I'm going to start with one of them. It's the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Now I've tried this over two years ago and I've done a review. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. And I wasn't a huge fan of the foundation at that time. But I decided to give it another try because I've seen other beauty gurus that really, really like it. And I wanted to see the difference from now and what happened before. I think because I've changed my skincare routine, it's working so much better for me. The shade that I have here is W4 and I'm wearing it today and I've so far been really, really liking this. Next I have Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. Now this is not a new release. It's been out for ages, but I've always wanted to try it. I love the fact that it's supposed to give you a natural matte finish and without looking cakey. So I've always had the curiosity to try it out. Um, this is in shade 21 Nude and this foundation has SPF 15, sorry. And from the reviews I've seen and the demos I've seen so far, it really looks nice on the skin. So I'm really curious to see how this is going to work for me. So if you guys wanna know, my thoughts on it, please comment below and at some point throughout the month I will do a review for you guys. Next I have the Bobbi Brown Skin Stick Foundation. This is supposed to be the new formulation which was released sometime in 2014. I've been always a huge, huge fan of Bobbi Brown Foundations for the simple fact that she caters for yellow skin tone people and also deeper skin tones, which is absolutely amazing. She always has a huge, huge range of shades available for everyone. Now this one is in shade Warm Natural 4.5 and I've tried the original foundation, the skin foundation. I've tried it over four years ago and I loved it. I wanted to try this one because I know for a fact Bobbi Brown foundations always suit me really well because they just blend in and disappear with my skin. They just become one and I was really really curious to use it. Now I bought this at the end of December. I've used it a few times but I will continue to use it to let you guys know how long it wears, um, if, it if it is good for oilier skin because my skin in the summer is very oily in the winter is combination but like always if you guys want a review on this please comment below next i have the l'oreal true match concealer in shade 02 now i've featured this in my last video which was makeup for a sick day so if you haven't seen that i'll link below i have used it a few times i bought it at the beginning of this month and i always like trying new concealers at the drugstore just to see if there's anything out there that can replace my higher end ones so i've been trying this so far I have mixed feelings, but I wanted to let you know that I have it. So if you guys, you know, if you've tried it, let me know how it works for you, if there's any techniques on using this, because they don't have a lot of shade. So I need to try and make it work. I have it on today. Um, and so far it looks great with the foundation, but um, yeah, they don't have a lot of shade. So let me know how it works for you. Um, and if you want a review on this as well. Now recently I've been trying a new brand called Seventeen which is available at Boots and Superdrug if I'm not mistaken and I've been trying their products and the first product that I'm going to show you is a contour kit which I think comes in lovely lovely packaging. Now let's keep in mind that this is drugstore usually you don't have boxes or anything like that but the presentation of this product is actually really really nice. Now this is a contour kit so it has a bronzer, Ooh, let me open this properly. It has a bronzer. It also comes with a little card in here which tells you how you need to use it and it comes with two colors. So the, this color is the darker one. It's medium. They come in two shades and this color over here is the highlighter. So you can use this underneath your eyes or just at the higher points of your face. And I think it looks lovely. It has a mirror as well. I think it's similar to the NARS packaging if I'm not mistaken I don't own any products from NARS but this comes really nice I'm I'm curious about this let me know let me know what you guys think also by 17 I have the falsify HD mascaras it comes in two colors black brown and black is black now I bought this one first 
by mistake because I like my eyelashes to be a little bit more bold and then I went back to get the other one now if you're familiar with Goss Makeup Artist he has raved about this mascara not too long ago that I had to go and grab myself one I am wearing it today I love the effect that it does on my lashes so I'll definitely be doing a demo review on this mascara for you guys if you're interested let me know but I'll definitely be doing it in the nearest future and it's very very affordable I think it costs $6.99 at Boots and at the moment they're doing a promotion where you can buy two products and pay only eight pounds which I think it's a bargain and my last product by the brand 17 is their Smolder gel eyeliner now i'm terrible with packaging as you can see this one is completely broken but it comes really well presented i absolutely love their packaging i'm gonna say that say that straight off it also comes with a brush i'm wearing it today i haven't used the brush yet i've used my own brushes that i have but i think it's great that it comes with a brush so if you don't have it in your tools you can have this for free which is great um it's very very affordable once again this costs 3.99 if I'm not mistaken, or was it something else that I bought for $3.99? I do believe that it costs $3.99, but like I said, you buy two and you pay only eight. So if something else is a little bit more expensive, you can put them together and pay two or three pounds less. So, so far, I've been really liking this. Next, I have the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara Punky. I did feature this in my last video, which will be linked below. And this one is an addition to their Manga or Miss Manga Mascara line, which comes in black or black is black and different shades. And this one is supposed to kind of like clump your lashes together, make them look a little bit more spidery and long. I featured this in my last video, as I said. I am not too sure about this mascara because the wand is something completely different. It has really small bristles and it's made of plastic. So I'm not too sure about this, but I wanted to let you know that I've bought it because it's something new here at the drugstore. So if you guys want a uh, review and demo, please comment below. I don't feel like my lashes are looking as thick as they were maybe 10 years ago. So this year I decided to try something new with my mascara and that is the Clinique Lash Building Primer. I've heard that priming your um, lashes with something like this will make them look thicker, which I believe it does, and also longer. So it comes in a white formula. You're supposed to apply this before your mascara, letting it dry for just maybe 30 seconds or a minute depending on how much you're applying and then apply your mascara and so far I've been using this consistently for the past week or so and it has definitely made a difference on my eyelashes so I, I've been really really enjoying this product Next, I have a few products from Kiko, which were Christmas gifts, and I'm going to start with the lipsticks. I have two over here. One is the Ace of Diamonds lipstick, and the other one is the Smart lipstick. So I'm going to start with this one here because it's absolutely cute. I love the packaging. This is in shade 25, by the way, and look how cute this is. It's gold. I, I love it. I think this is great um, as a gift, um, and I love the color. It's like a red with orangey undertones and I'll definitely be wearing this to go out at night maybe spring summer I'm not really a red lipstick wearer but I thought that this color was was very very cute and very suitable for that time and for me to go out at night as I said because I wouldn't wear red lips to go out in the day I have really big lips or full lips and I just don't think it suits me during the day the other one is the smart lipstick in shade 902 and this is just basic packaging. It's kind of like matte and it just says Kiko at the front. And this one is also a uh, red lipstick, very similar to the other one, but I think it has a different finish. This one I think is supposed to be matte, if I'm not mistaken, and the other one has a little bit of sheen or it's the other way around. I can't remember because I have swatched them before, but they're absolutely gorgeous and my niece gave them to me and I'm so grateful. Thank you, Kiki. I'll definitely be wearing this. I have a few nail products that I want to share with you guys. I have really dry nails at the moment because I was wearing for about two 
months and a half acrylics which have completely damaged my nails I know it does that but I was just a little bit lazy on maintaining my nails having to paint them all the time so I wanted to have a change but now my nails are very dry so I need to take care of them and the product that I bought is by Sally Hansen and it's the maximum strength now this is supposed to be applied every couple of days or something like that and it does make a difference on my nails and I can use this as a base so it's been working really really good and as a top coat I've always loved Seche Vite but I find that if you take too long to finish the bottle it will dry and become very very thick and gloopy which I hate and then they have another product that you can buy mix it to make it go back to the way it was and I just think it's a waste of money so this time I didn't buy it I decided to try something new and I decided to buy the Mega Shine by Sally Hansen it has the same effect um, it makes my nails super super shiny and my manicure lost me a lot longer I have two nail polishes by Maybelline and these are the Superstay Gel Nail Polish which I'm a huge fan of because I actually find that these last me longer than my OPI definitely and my Essie which I'm absolutely a fan of but these ones are really really good now the shades that I have here the first one is um, Berry Stain which is through 230 sorry and it's a lovely purpley nail polish which is great now for winter obviously you can wear these nail polishes any time of year but this color is definitely for like fall winter and it's really really pretty I can't wait to wear this one and the next one is Surreal 635 which is like a blue nail polish with purple undertones I think this will suit so many people it's a lovely, lovely color. It's kind of like risque uh, for someone who likes wearing either nudes or, you know, like pastels or something like this, which would go with anything. This is a risque color, but it's very pretty. And I think once I apply this, it will make me look like I'm a little bit tanned. It will just enhance my skin tone. So I'm really excited about this one. Now on to skincare. I've been wanting to give a try to more Boots on brand. Um, Boots is our drugstore here in the UK or the biggest one here in the UK because we also have Superdrug but it's my favorite and I find that their own brand products are really really good and I think they're underrated so I was looking for a new micellar solution and I came across this one by Botanics and it's supposed to be a 3-in-1 cleansing solution all bright it's supposed to dissolve makeup unclog pores and removes impurities and it says here at the top the power of plants so it has a lot of natural ingredients in it and it also has uh, brightening hibiscus now hibiscus is good for the hair so I couldn't wait to try this and see how it works for my skin because I love micellar solutions the next product that I've decided to try is a eye makeup remover we have this one also by botanics with the power of plants which is a soothing eye makeup remover all bright removes even waterproof mascara it has hibiscus and it's supposed to be suitable for any skin type it's a double solution which you need to shake and um, remove your eye makeup. I've tried so many um, and I'm trying to find some that is a little bit more affordable. I've tried high-end and I feel like drugstore ones work really, really well. So hopefully this one will be a holy grail product for me. I don't know. Um, the last product by Botanics is a hydrating eye serum, Triple H Renewal. It's supposed to reduce the appearance of deep lines, wrinkles and dark circles in four weeks with smoothing purple orchid. Now, I really love, and I think it's an essential thing to have um, eye creams. I cannot live without them. I have to apply them before my makeup and I have to apply them before I go to bed. It looks like this, it's a tube. It has a little nozzle over here, which is easy to apply on your eyes. And I can't wait to try it. The one that I have is nearly done. So hopefully this will work for me. It's organic and I'm really excited about all these products. And my last product is the Garnier Olia Permanent Hair Color with no ammonia. It has 60% of oils and it's supposed to cover all your grays, which I have a lot, especially on my left side and a few here loose ones at the front. And this is my go-to color 
um, or dye for my hair. It doesn't strip my hair, it actually moisturizes it and it leaves my hair looking very shiny and very, very healthy. So that is it for my beauty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. And I also wanted to give a huge thank you to all of you who have wished me well in my last video because I was very, very ill. Still recovering, but I feel so much better. Um, still on medication, but nothing too major, only for the next few days. And hopefully I'll be 100% recovered in a week's time. So thank you so much for your good wishes and your comments. They were very, very sweet. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.